of it is one of the type of a special concrete. What a special concrete prepared? It is a special concrete for prepared for some special cases with special properties. Example, high compressive strength, waterproofing, or improved chemical resistance, etc. So, high performance concrete is one of its type, and it has been designed to be more durable and stronger if necessary than the conventional concrete. Its compressive strength is usually uh, 55 uh, megapascal or more according to the need of the situation. So in this uh, first uh, a, in this picture, A is a uh, high performance concrete and B is a normal concrete with the cracks. High performance concrete uh, usually has a higher durability and higher strength than the con conventional concrete. It consists of uh, more cementious materials than normal concrete such as fly ash, silk fume or GGBS and uh, it usually contains a super plasticizer. Uh, these are these pictures uh, show the applications of uh, high performance concrete. It's uh, high performance concrete is usually used in uh, buildings and uh, higher rise buildings and bridges. Uh, it can also be used in short crete repairs, uh, poles, parking garages, and agriculture applications. Also, we can use it. Okay, high performance concrete. Uh, usually, high performance concrete uh, has uh, so many properties. Usually, we uh, make the concrete according to our need, according to the special uh, special need of the property uh, in the site. Uh, some of the properties are high strength, high early strength, high modulus of elasticity, high abrasion resistance, etc. And uh, high performance concrete always has has a higher strength than normal concrete. Strength is not always the primary required property. Uh, for example, normal concrete with a very dura very high durability and very very low permeability is also uh, considered to have a high performance concrete. Um, see in this uh, this is a co comparison chart between high performance concrete ultra high performance concrete and normal concrete uh, in this first is salt scaling mass uh, concretes usually get deteriorated by salt scaling when exp exposed to saline water resulting in the reduction of the mass of the concrete this is usually higher in normal concrete compared to both hpc and uhpc uh, chloride ion diffusion Chloride ion enters the concrete by diffusion due to concentration gradient between exposed surface and pore solution inside the concrete. This free, free chloride diffuses to the rebar and initiates the reinforcement corrosion. So the lesser the diffusion, uh, lesser the reinforcement corrosion. So high, normal concrete has high, uh, higher chloride diffusion. Oxygen permeability also. The corrosion of uh, steel reinforcement is uh, majorly due to the carbonation of the concrete. It depends on the measurement of the index of oxygen permeability of the concrete. Hence, higher the penetration, higher the corrosion resistance, cor corrosion of the reinforcement. See this, uh, in the, the picture shows the hydration of the uh, normal concrete versus a high performance concrete. You, uh, in hydration, there is a phase called CSH phase in which ettringite and portlandite will form. Uh, ettringite and portlandite are higher in normal concrete than the high performance concrete. What is a CSH phase? Calcium silica hydrate phase, uh, it is the phase at which silica reacts with the water. Uh, ettringite is a uh, Ettringite is a name of a mineral name of the calcium sulfur aluminate. It can cause uh, cracking and deterioration in the concrete. What is portlandite? Portlandite is nothing but a mineral form of calcium hydroxide. It, uh, its formation can cause expansion, cracking, and deterioration. Okay. So, what is it? Ah, yes, sir. It comes ettringite formation. In which unit have you studied the intrinsic formation? Don't know, sir. Don't know. <laughs> in second unit, uh, ASR, what is it? Alkali silicate reaction. Alkali oh, aggregate yes. reaction. That is DEF. Delayed intrinsic formation. That is one of the problems uh, that leads to cracking. Okay, okay. Carry on. Okay, so this is. Uh, 
Okay, uh, now uh, see it's a comparison. Uh, this tablet column shows that uh, normal concrete has a normal strength of uh, 4,500 psi. PSI is nothing but pounds per square inch. Uh, 4,500 is uh, 31 megapascal, and the high performance concrete has a strength of 55 megapascal. Uh, it shows that 30 inch by 30 inch by 30 inch uh, normal strength concrete can be replaced by 24 inch by 24 inch. See, reinforcement, reinforcement requirement also reduces for high performance concrete. Uh, so, hence the cost of reinforcement also reduces. Usually, super plasticizer is not used in normal strength concrete. Uh, high performance concrete has a super plasticizer. Uh, next picture, it's, uh, there's a strong confusion between high strength concrete and uh, high performance concrete. High strength concrete has only the property of having higher strength, whereas the high performance concrete has this both the properties of higher durability as well as higher strength. Uh, usually high strength uh, concrete can be called as high performance concrete, but all high performance concrete cannot be called as high strength concrete. Uh, next picture shows the types of high performance concrete. Uh, there are three types. Usually, they are classified based on the strength, uh, hyper-performance concrete, very high-performance concrete, and high-performance concrete. High-performance, uh, hyper-performance concrete has the strength greater than 150 megapascal, whereas high, uh, very high-performance is strength between 100 to 150 megapascal, and high-performance concrete strength is between 50 to 100 megapascal. Uh, the uh, high performance concrete, in, uh, we can change the ratio of the materials according to our uh, desired property, uh, desired uh, necessities and uh, what uh, these are the materials which has to be increased or reduced according to the desirable property uh, shown in the uh, tablet board. Uh, advantages of high performance concrete uh, it is uh, easy for placement and consolidate it can be easily consolidated without affecting the strength there is a reduction in the size of the structural member thereby uh, reducing the uh, cost of the materials used also and it extends the life of the construction in extreme environments it has less creep and uh, shrinking disadvantage uh, it's, it needs extended quality so Are the last uh, form of area and its value are reduced? Uh, Size of the members quarry with the sir. So, form of the uh, oh, cross uh, section mean for the Ah, yes, sir. And its value, okay, area and its value. Ah, okay, 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 carry on. Uh, disadvantage is nothing but uh, extended. Uh, we need to uh, be careful about the proportion of the materials and uh, it needs uh, specially to be manufactured and placed carefully. We have to uh, place it carefully. So, I have taken a species example. Uh, this is name is the mechanical properties and stress strain behavior of high performance concrete under uniaxial compression. It is uh, done by Boche Jira Prasad. In this thesis, they have done a few tests on normal concrete as well as a high performance concrete under uniaxial compression. And they have come up with the result of uh, peak stress and elastic modulus uh, higher for high performance concrete than normal concrete. And Poisson ratio is less for high performance concrete than normal concrete. Uh, in, uh, in this thesis, they have taken an exam, uh, they have taken a mix uh, and um, they came up with the result as high, high ductility. Uh, normal uh, concrete has a higher ductility than a high performance concrete, but they have also suggested that uh, they have also suggested that ductility of high performance concrete can be increased using steel reinforcements in the form of lateral confine confinements uh, in case of columns. Uh, this figure shows the comparison of stress strain curve for high performance concrete and normal strength concrete. Uh, Application high performance concrete has the applications of uh, pavement. We can apply, we can use the high performance concrete in pavements, skyscrapers, bridges, hydraulic structures, etc. These are the references. Thank you. Uh, Sivaranjani, uh, yes, uh, application less skyscrapers are being put to King. Skyscrapers, buildings with the uh, high more, uh, the stories more than 
ट्वेंटी और थर्टी एग्जैक्ट होने वाली है और राइट है मैम Ten meters, sir. Three, three meters. How many orders are there? Stories, height. Forty stories, sir. Ah. Okay, forty or forty-five stories, sir. Sir, okay. But early stage, sir, nineteen, early nineteen hundreds, sir. And then ten or twenty stories, sir. That is crazy, sir. But now uh, it become like a forty, forty-five, and my age. Okay. Thank you, sir. And how much mark you want? Seven, sir. Seven, I'll put eight. Thank you. For attendance, I'll take the screenshot. Uh, screenshot, not at the.